Thog Dad, I'm going to surprise you today with 20 kits across Britain and Ireland, and let's have a little talk about them. And I've not seen any of these kits. Theo, tell me where you got them from. All online, lots of controversial opinions. I just want to hear if you love it or hate it. And join us in the comments. Kit number one, Thog Dad, you better be respectful. <laughs> Chesterfield <laughs> FC, they now follow me. Their official account responded to my tweet last night with their new home shirt. Tell me your thoughts. Massive respect to Chesterfield, by the way. Right, I'm seeing these for the first time. And you know what? I like this blue, Theo. Yeah. It's two shades of blue. You've got the puma leaping majestically, haven't you, on the right? Right hand yeah. breast. Nice club badge. You know what, Theo? This is a proper football shirt. It, it looks football-y. We see a lot of kits nowadays that look rugby style. Yes. Cricket. This is Screams Chesterfield FC. It's got that dark blue. The details on the front. I like it. It's got the upside down V, or should I call that an N, going yeah. all the way up the shirt. You know what? If you put on this Chesterfield shirt, you're going to respect it, aren't you, Theo? I like this. I'm going to give it a B. I'm giving it a B as well. I mean, it's not the best kit in the world, but absolutely, if you're a Chesterfield fan, I'd buy that. Second kit of the day, Wrexham away for their new season. Feast your eyes on this dog dad. This person has said, it's beautiful. Let me know your thoughts. Wow. Well, I'm not sure about beautiful. It's just light blue. I mean, can we get closer? Is there any detail in that? Or is it just a light blue shirt? There's no detail. It's just a light blue shirt with a TikTok sponsor. Oh my goodness. Now, Their sponsor is TikTok. And I tell you what, because of that, everyone's going to buy it. It's like a... No, a, no, no. Yes. They'll buy it as a joke, Dad. There's no way you'd wear that down the street to your local pub. You've got TikTok on the front. Like, you know, you're going to have like kids laughing at you. The old man at the pub's going to be like, do a dance for us, lad. There's not much going on there. Yeah, nothing going you on. You could have done so much more with it. You've got a sponsor like TikTok. Do something special. I'm sorry, this is a, a C-. minus. Yeah, it's it's an all-round average kit. Not much done with the works and the, the sponsor. I've already had my say on that. This is getting a D. No, Ooh. actually, you like the TikTok. I'm going to give them an E. The next kit is another official account sending us to us, all right? Cavisham <laughs> United, take a look at this wacky design. Yes, they're Sunday League. I think they play somewhere near Reading. My God. They're going to be shining compared to all the other clubs in their division. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. And yeah. I've got to talk first about the sponsor, Balls to Cancer, mm. which I'm guessing is about testicular cancer, which is a big killer of young men and men in general. So respect for having the balls yeah. to put the balls on your shirt. I think that is brilliant. <laughs> now you've got these sort of concentric designs all over the place. It's love it or hate it. It looks like shattered glass, doesn't it, Theo? Yeah, it's. I mean, the effort is exquisite. It's unique. This is getting an A minus for me. Yeah. Do you know what, Theo? I love the club badge. I wish I knew where this place is. Caversham United. Near Reading. Near Reading. Okay. Yeah. Respect to Caversham. I like the collar. I like the sleeve cuffs. Overall, this is a lovely shirt. I'm giving it an A minus. We agree. Dog Dad, it's time for Rotherham Away's <laughs> oh, League Oh, Theo, you've made the mistake what? already. That's obviously Hull City. No, it's not. It's Rotherham's new away shirt. Oh, I Theo, promise. I only work with professionals, Theo. Go on, put the Rotherham shirt up. That, that, that is it. <laughs> it's Hull City. I know, it's bad, isn't it? It looks like a Hull City shirt. That's the first thing, because, you know, if mm. Bolton had a shirt that looked like Man United, we'd toss it in the bin, wouldn't we, I know, Theo? I know. It looks like they've been mauled by the Tigers. This is really bad. But do you know what? It's it's not a bad shirt. It is though. It is bad. Come on. It's not bad. It's distinctive. Let's put it that way. It's distinctive. It reminds me of Tigers. I've no idea why you're defending this shirt. It's, I'm giving it a C minus. I like the colour. It's different. That's the only benefit. The yeah. rest, I, I, look, it screams whole city. I know it's their away shirt, but at the same time, this doesn't fit nicely. Well. I, they, they could have done a better job. It's something you'd wear on safari. I'm yeah. giving it a C. C. The Bohemians have released their new shirt in Ireland for their cup matches, the FIA Cup. And that is it, Thog Dad. Oh my goodness, bohos. Now, first of all, what a day we had. In, in Ireland. Bohemians. Can I just mention, this is literally a Dublin bus kit. I think they've done a collaboration with them, but my God, how are they going to get away with this on the pitch? It, I'm not sure. Who thought it was a good idea to do a collaboration with a Dublin bus? I mean, the, the design never looks good. I know it's out there, but my God. It's something you'd wear at Glastonbury, isn't it? You'd wear this at really? a music festival. I wouldn't go anywhere with this on. It's no, I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Do you know what? It's very creative. The Irish are known as a very is it creative. creative. Yes, it is. No, it's not because they've literally just taken the design of the Dublin bus and put it on a shirt. There's no creativity. Right. Zero. You've you got the galaxies in it. You've got Jupiter and that, Mercury that and Venus. That is a Dublin bus. You, that is a Dublin Theo, bus. I can see Uranus. It's getting a D. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it 
a little bit of marks for effort. I'm gonna give it a C. Oh, yeah, you're Just being because it's so down. out there. Yeah, guys, please tell me no one actually likes this kit in the comments. So Jonesy tweeted at me saying a lot of controversy when this kit was announced. What is he talking about? The new Swansea away <laughs> shirt. Feast your eyes on that fog, Dad. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, Wales have been busy, haven't they? Yeah. With sending us kits. That is quite astonishing. It's got a retro feel. <laughs> Here's the thing. And the thing that I see is the Union Jack. Yeah, it, that's the problem. Welsh people don't want the Union Jack on their kit. Yes. There was a massive controversy when it came out. But it is orange, it's not red. That's yeah. the difference. And it's based on a retro shirt, which is very similar. But, look, I mean, the Union Jack, it, it, it's quite resembling. Tell us in the comments what you think. Having said that, forget all the resemblance. That is a beautiful shirt. Yeah. And it's out there and it's something different. And I respect Swansea for going for it. I tell you what, something Big Rob would wear, isn't it? Simple as. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. That's the thing about, you know, the United Kingdom. There are Welsh folks, Scottish folk, Northern Irish folk who don't, wouldn't buy into a shirt like that because of the Union Jack. Overall, I like this a lot. I'm giving it an A minus. Kit number eight, we're going to Lincoln. Their new home shirt for 22-23 season. Branston as the sponsor. Oh my goodness. You love cheese and Branston sandwiches, don't you, Thug Dad? Yeah, but Theo, you're making lots of mistakes today. You put the Sheffield United shirt, you know that. Dad, come on. They use the same colours. You can't really make that joke again. Okay, fair enough. It's Lincoln. Look, there's not much going on. Area is the spot. I mean, have they really put effort into that? It just looks like a template. But is that Branston Pickle or not? Is it some other Branston? I hope so. If it's not Branston Pickle, then no one's buying the kit. Yeah. <laughs> now, maybe there was a chance. Yeah. Okay, overall, Theo, you've gone with the vertical stripes, which have been cut up by the Well, logo. I haven't gone for it. Lincoln have. Yeah, Lincoln have. You've got the rounded black collar. You've got yeah, black on the end of the sleeves. It's a nice kit, Theo. Yeah. It is actually not, a nice, not clean a nice kit. kit. No, it is. What's I'm going to be straight it? up. It, there's nothing going on. It's area have used a kit template. There's not much effort into it. Yes, there's a few black lines between the red and the white. Uh, look, I'm sorry, I'll give this a bang average C. I'm going to give this a B minus. It's not bad that day. I don't know how you're you giving. You're being too kind. Let's react to the Huddersfield <laughs> away kit leaked. Give me your thoughts. It's a blackout. Wow, that is amazing. That is really cool. It's the sort of thing you'd wear in the club, isn't it, Theo? Yeah, it's, it's... Look, a lot of clubs go for the blackout, right? Yeah. I like this, but there's not much difference to it. There's not a lot of effort that goes into it. So I'm always a little bit hesitant when I see a full blacked out kit. People speak of it like it's the best thing in the world. If it was the best thing in the world, everybody would do it. I love black as a colour. Yeah. I'm a, little, you know, a bit of a goth at heart, I guess. And that's nice. But you've got two shades going on. So you've got a lighter black, haven't you, on the sleeves with the sponsor's logo. And you've got a deeper black elsewhere. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Theo. The comment on the screen is, this is the best kit in the EFL. For me, I can see why some people would say that, but I'm not going to say that's true. I'll give it a B plus. I, I like it, but there's not ever a crazy amount of effort that goes yeah. into a full blackout kit. What's your I'm going to go B, Theo. B. Okay. If I was a Huddersfield fan, I'd be very pleased with that. Okay. Right, next shirt, Thog Dad. Coventry away. Purple. Details. The person who sent it to me said, no, have you seen the commentary awake? I'm not a fan, but it's a beauty. Tell me your thoughts, Dad. I'm not sure it's a beauty. Um, I'm not a mad keen on this, Theo. There's too much going on. They've gone for the thinner vertical stripes, haven't they? With a bit of yellow, That's, I think that is, between You're it. about to annoy a lot of people from commentary. They are. They, they're, they're proud of their home and away strips. We'll speak about the home later on. They've put effort into that. I actually like it. It's just I'm going to give this one bit. an A. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. What do you like about that? It's just out there. It's got the details on one of the stripes. It's got the purple, touches of yellow from Hummel. Too much going on. I'm going to give it a C+. Ah, oh, being rude. Let's talk about the new Ipswich Town home shirt. We're going to play them first game of the season. They'll be repping this. Ed Sheeran's on the front, Thog Daddy. Rep the design. Oh, yeah. Let's speak about it. Details, decent. A little bit of red, which comes from the logo. It's got the Ed Sheeran tour sponsor. What's your thoughts? He's got a lot of tattoos, hasn't he, that Ed Sheeran I know. lad? Fair play to him. Nice watch as well. Yeah, it is a lovely watch. What is that? What sort of watch? I Rolex? Uh, probably not. Well, what's he, what's he doing though? He's like he's... Holding up the badge. Yeah, but he's like... It's like he's missed it. Yeah, it's like he's in the tiniest room in the world. It's like a Cure video. Yeah, but it does put the focus on the kit. Very true. And that's true. what we need to be reviewing, Dog Dad. Okay, I'm right. giving this an A-. I like I it. I tell you what. I liked I it until I saw Ed Sheeran on the, on the display. Oh, come on, don't be harsh. Okay. And I'm going to give it an A, a straight Ooh, A. Ooh, big call from Dog Dad there. Crew Alexandra, home shirt. The comment is, this has to be the best kit in League 2. Come on, lad. 
geezer. This is this is just a red shirt. <laughs> Morn flake, more like cornflake. I thought I was reading a cornflake sponsor on the front. There's not a lot going on there, is there, Theo? No. Um, again, collar, no, I like V-neck collars. I'm trying to think of nice things to say. It's dull, there's not enough going on for me. C minus. Yeah, I'm giving this a D. I'm sorry, crew fans, not good enough. Middlesbrough's new home shirt. And they've got David Wheater modeling it. <laughs> it's great, they put, oh, such good effort. That's their new kit for the season. Again, it looks a bit rugby, doesn't it, it, Dad? Theo, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. It's a rugby shirt. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's it's something you're forced to wear at school. We're all forced to play rugby at school. We all hate it, don't we? Honestly, I, I don't know what they do. Every year, they make it a rugby shirt. We criticise it. They don't listen. Hard to imagine a worse kit than the Middlesbrough kit. I'm going to yeah. give this a D-. minus. Next up, it's Stockport County's home shirt. Blue kit with a triangular darker shade detail on the front. Vita is the sponsor. Stockport County fans speak very highly about it. This guy is a beauty of a shirt, that home and away one, up there with the best in the EFL. Thog Dad, give me a thought. I tell you what, Stockport County, did they just get promoted? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Oh, right. No, they did, they got promoted, yeah. Massive respect to Stockport County, and by the way, they must have thousands and thousands of fans. I mean, for a club in the fourth level of English football, my goodness, they are well supported. And I like that shirt, Theo. My first reaction is, this is a good what, shirt. you like this kit? I do. That's I my first disgusting. reaction. It's not disgusting. I think it's absolutely revolting. There's nothing good about it. Theo. They've, I mean, whoever designed that kit deserves a pay down, not a rise, a pay <laughs> down. I think the subtleties in the kit that you don't see at first, the sort of the faded blue on the sleeves contrasts with the darker blue in those triangular shapes throughout. I like the collar. You've no, got a classic I don't V-neck. Like Actually, overall, like it. it's it's mediocre. Let's be honest about this. It's yeah. mediocre. Mediocre. I think it's all right. I'm going to give it a B minus. I'm going to give it nice a detailing. C plus. I'm kind of just winding you all up. <laughs> <laughs> we got another Instagram message. Hearts kit. Is it the best? Question mark. Well, looking at it now, it's a white shirt with black dots. I'm sorry, lads. If this is your new away kit, I feel for you. Theo, you've been very harsh. I can see this being worn in the athletic arms as everyone orders their pints and a nip of something Dad, are stronger. are you saying you like this? Hearts have got a lovely bunch, and that makes things stand out. I also like the script that they've used for the sponsor. That's quite nice. Dad, you're you've sounding... Got... You're sounding... Uh, yeah, you're trying to be nice. You like Hearts fans. Fair enough. You like the club. Come on, the kit's not... I'm giving it's... it a C. I'm giving it a C. Bang in the middle. I'm going to reserve judgment to some extent. I want to see this in the flesh. I okay. think it's got a retro feel. I like it, Theo. I'm giving it a B. The Sunderland shirt. Thoughts on the leaked kit? Confident, Theo. That's my first reaction. Yeah, confident. The sponsor says spread them sports. Spread them. Oh, my God. You are kidding. Oh, my God. Imagine the beef that there's going to be with Newcastle fans. Imagine the banter. Spread them. I know. I know. Oh. That is mental, isn't it? I like the how, how are they not going to get banter at every single Spread game they're going to? Sports. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't see beyond that, can you? Can't see beyond that. I'm going to give this <laughs> a, a B. A B. <laughs> you give this a B. Yeah. Because I like the colour. I like oh. the kit. Take away the sponsor's logo. It's a nice shirt. I'm going to give it. Um, I don't even know. Can we even give it a grade? Yeah, go on. C. Carlisle United. The mighty Carlisle from the Northwest. Trafford's hometown. Best kit in League Two, this fan says. Look at the design, Thog Dad. Tell me your thoughts. I'm thinking clouds. It's very navy blue with some lighter blue patterns on the front. Dad, best kit in League Two. This no. is probably the worst. It... What is the design? Honestly, it looks like a camouflage without the camouflage. Cover. <laughs> without the camouflage. It's, it's just dotted all over. Yeah. I don't understand what it means. You know, at least they've tried to be a little bit different. I, I'm not sure it works. Yeah, once you get closer up, you see the dot patterns, don't you, Theo? Mm. Like made by one of those old dot printers. But I'm not mad keen on this, no, Theo. This is getting a D. I'm I, sorry. I, I, I actually, I only feel hate for it. Oh. Yeah. It might look all right if you're wearing this in a Carlisle bar, and it might look all right from afar, but it's not that nice, is no. it? I'm going to give this a C. Right. The Walsall third kit is out for this season, and it's on the screen. A Walsall fan has to say, this has got to be the best third kit in League Two. We'll have our take on that one. Poundland's the sponsor. Oh my goodness, that is so English, isn't it? If you're going to be sponsored by anyone, Poundland. <laughs> but what's wrong with that, Finn? What is wrong with that? 
the way football shirts are going in terms of value, it's a disgrace that they've got something like that on the kit. In fact, you should sell it at Poundland. Theo, for a pound. Don't be a snob. We all shop yeah. at Poundland. I shop there for your Christmas presents. I'm going to give this a B. I'm going to give this a B minus. Let's respect. I like pa- Poundland in. Get it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag Poundland in. Feast your eyes <laughs> no on way. the Partick Thistle third No, kit. no. The official kit. It's not a joke. This man is he's a Rangers fan. He said, best kit in Scotland. So I don't know if he actually means that or not. What is your thoughts? <laughs> I'm thinking there's somebody at the door, and that somebody is Jeremy Beadle. Oh Beadle's my. about. That's a prank. They've, they've designed a face. They've got shirts. Look, look, look at the shorts. It blends into the shirt. I don't even know what's going it's on here. It's something you'd wear on a sponsored run, isn't it, Theo? Yeah. I mean, it's I, funny. No. How can you play football? You're not. They're not. Be proud. Not no, seriously. No, they're not. They are. They are wearing this. Be proud that you've got a face <laughs> on the bottom of your shirt. This has never been done before. I've never seen it. Then you've got the red and yellow splattered on top. You've got an employment sponsor. I mean, it's just all over the gaff, innit? Yeah. I'm giving them an A. I love it. It's the best. It's just funny, innit? It's funny, Theo. You've got to bring some fun back to life and to football. And you know what? We, yeah. should, we should go up to Partick Thistle. You know what? I'm buying this. I'm going to buy this. We should go up there I'm going to wear it in a video. Right? I'm going to yeah. wear it in a video. I respect it. Do it. So if there's any Partick Thistle fans, send us one. We'll send you the cash. Yeah. I'm going to also give that... I'm going to give that an A- minus for a the minus. sense of fun. I'm really thankful that we both... Just like it. Right, we've got the Bolton shirt on here. <laughs> I had a message on Instagram saying stinky kit with the poo emoji. Now I'm mad. You cannot be roasting service my car. I want no slander for that sponsor. <laughs> I am proud of this shirt. You know what, Theo? If my car needs a service, you know where I'm going? Where? Service my car. Oh, you're going there, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, because it's on the kit. But you know what? Bakayoko is going to score 20 goals in this kit. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm giving this an A. And that's a completely unbiased opinion there. You know what? <laughs> I, I like this. Um, I actually like the sponsor's logo. I mean, that really? sounds stupid. Because of the green. That Do you like green on a Bolton shirt? Isn't it's, that a bit Wigan? It's the first time. No, it's not a bit Wigan. No, this is a nice, clean shirt, Theo. Yeah. I'd be proud to wear this. I'm going to buy this the first game I go to the game. Giving it an A. Yeah, we agree on an A. <laughs> and that is our 20 kits reviewed across Britain and Ireland. Comment below the best and worst one. Yeah. The best has to be Bolton. <laughs> but actually, I want to know your opinion. Some nutty kids. You enjoyed this video, Dad? I've loved it, Phil. We've surprised you with all 20. Yes, I've so. not seen any of them. Oh, no, I've seen the Bolton kit before. I must yeah, yeah admit. fine, of course. But the rest, you, it was on the spot. Natural reaction. That's the best thing. It, it always creates the, the biggest video. So thank you. Smash the like button. How many likes do you want? I'll put you on the spot for one final time. Well, I'll tell you what. 12,000 likes. And we're going to buy our train tickets to Partick Thistle. And you're going to get a pink dress. Stop off at Newcastle. Oh. Run down the main street. Get back on the train, then we'll go to Partick Thistle. Okay, Is that right? Let's, let's do it. 12,000 likes and we'll do that. Deal? Make it done. See you in a bit.